to control alcohol consumption because you physically and mentally need it to function and operate normally. There are a lot of risk factors for alcoholism, like low self-esteem, mental illnesses can contribute to excess drinking, excessive drinking, drinking under age, social factors, you know, peer pressure, family history, abuse, neglect, warning signs, using alcohol when it's not safe, like when somebody's pregnant, when you're driving, loss of interest, um, trying to cut down but not being able to, failing to fulfill obligations like going into work late, you know, grades, suffering, feeling a strong urge to drink, or developing a tolerance, which is needing more of a drug to feel the same effect. There's a lot of types of alcoholics. One type is young adult, which is actually the biggest group of alcoholics, most likely going to be in college and like binge drinkers. Functional alcoholics, probably going to have a full-time job, good relationships, high, highest education levels. They're good at like separating like work life from like the drinking life and least likely to report a drinking problem. And chronic severe, this is a stereotypical one that we think of. This is actually the smallest group of alcoholics, the highest rates of divorce, highest rates of unemployment, uh, highest rates of seeking treatment, but they drink more frequently than any other type of alcoholic. Withdrawal symptoms within six hours, nausea, vomiting, sweating, migraine. Within a full day without alcohol, hallucinations, seizures, fever, rapid heart rate, delirium, tremens. The autonomic nervous system is the part of the brain that controls vital functions like your heart rate, respiratory rate, breathing rate, digestion, body temperature. Delirium tremens is the worst symptom of alcohol withdrawal. This is what can kill people. It is kind of rare. Five to 10% 10, 10 of people will experience this and it's five to 15% fatal if they experience it. It causes autonomic hyperactivity. So it causes the autonomic nervous system to speed up. So you've got increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, increased body temperature, which can shut the body down. Chronic symptoms, cerebral atrophy, which is where it, um, the long-term abuse kills brain cells, increased blood pressure, diabetes, buildup of fatty cells in the liver. And we already know with the liver, this can cause cirrhosis because the liver tries to repair itself when it's injured and it causes scarring. And eventually that's a disease where the liver is going to shut down. Edema, excess fluid trapped in the body tissues, too much fluid. Jaundice is yellowing of the skin and eyes. Palmer arrhythmia, dilated capillaries. Ascites is fluid abdominal buildup. The, the body can't really get rid of fluid and it builds up. Gynecomastia is an enlargement of a man's breast due to hormonal imbalances. Contusions, which is bruising internal bleeding from unhealthy blood vessels and spider vessels and varicose veins from damage to the veins because of high blood pressure over years and years of alcohol abuse.